5 divided by 8 plus x over 6 equals minus 5x over 6 minus 1 8. Okay, we don't have parentheses, but we certainly have fractions. How do you deal with it now? Well, it says eliminate. Eliminate means get rid of them. We need to get rid of those fractions so we have an equation we're familiar with, just a linear equation, no fractions, no decimals, no parentheses. How do you do that? All right, you look at all these denominators, you see an 8, a 6, a 6, and an 8. The trick is to find the lowest common denominator. Hmm, what was that? Well, we'll figure it out in a moment. And multiply both sides of the equation with that lowest common denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. This is the LCD. What is an LCD? Well, an LCD is the denominator that all denominators fit evenly into it. Well, there's all kinds of ways in which you can find the lowest common denominator, and that's a lecture in itself. But typically, it could be the product of the two. So if I multiply 6 times 8, that's 48. That's a common denominator, but not the lowest one. Uh, you can find it by, like, doubling the big one and see if the small one fits into it. For example, 2 times 8 is 16. Well, 6 doesn't go into 16. Then you try tripling 8, so 3 times 8, 24. Ah, 6 goes into 24 as well. There's my lowest common denominator. In another lecture, we'll go through a much more systematic way of finding the lowest common denominator. But for now, it's simply good enough to say 24 works. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 24, and that will get rid of my denominators. And you'll see in just a moment how. So now we're going to multiply the 24 by each of these. So I'm going to write out like this, 24 multiplied times 5 over 8 plus 24 multiplied times x over 6 equals 24 multiplied times minus 5x over 6 and plus 24 times a minus 1 8. So notice what I did. I found the lowest common denominator and then I went ahead and multiplied both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator and then I distributed that over every one of the fractions inside those brackets, those brackets that I added just for simplicity. So when you do that, you multiply the 24 times each of those terms inside, multiply the 24 times each of those terms inside. Now the next step is going to simplify each of those multiplications. Notice that 8 goes into 24 3 times, so 24 divided by 8 is 3, so this becomes 3 times 5 plus 6 goes into 24 4 times, so this becomes 4 times x. 6 goes into 24 4 times, so this becomes 4 times minus 5x. And 8 goes into 24 3 times, so it becomes 3 times a negative 1. And then if we multiply these out, we get 15 plus 4x equals minus 20x minus 3. And now we have an equation like we had before, a linear equation with no fractions, no decimals, no parentheses, just a simple straightforward equation which we can solve in the exact same way that we have been doing. So let's review this again. You have a, an equation that has fractions. The decimal, the, the denominators are all different. We have an 8 and a 6. We find the lowest common denominator, so we find the denominator that all others fit into. We notice that 8 goes into 24 3 times, 6 goes into 24 4 times, so that's a good, good number to use. It doesn't have to be the lowest common denominator. You can use any number that the denominators fit into, and that will work as well. So don't, don't feel bad if you didn't find the lowest one. So then you go ahead and start multiplying. Well, that means I have to distribute the 24 by each of the terms inside the parentheses or inside the brackets. So here and here, you do the same on the right side. Then you realize that the denominator fits into the lowest common denominator. So you find out how many times. And so you take 24 divided by 8, you get 3. 24 divided by 6, you get 4. And then you multiply those together to end up with a simple linear equation. And at that point, we just continue following the steps. So step number two, move all the terms that have a variable to the left. So here we have 15 plus 4x 
plus 20x. Notice when we move the 20x over, that becomes a positive 20x equals, we still have the negative 3 on the right side. Then the next step says move all the constant terms to the right. So I still have a 15 on the left. That has to move to the right. So we have 4x plus 20x equals minus 3 minus 15. Then it says combine all like terms. So this becomes 24x and this becomes minus 18. Next step is divide both sides by the numerical coefficient. Divide both sides by 24. This cancels out, so we have x equals minus 18 over 24, and we would normally be done. It does say simplify, and sometimes you can simplify, and here notice that both the numerator and the denominator are even. That means they can both be divided by 2, so this can be written as minus 9 over 12. Now you notice that they're both divisible by 3, so you can simplify it some more. So this can be divided by 3, so this is minus 3. This can be divided by 3, so this is 4. And so finally, x equals minus 3 over 4 is your final answer. So always simplify if you can simplify, especially with fractions that are even or are divisible by 3 or by some common number.